The purpose of this short film is to encourage intergenerational learning. The Express Project and the Older People's Network, also known as OPEN, are both projects within the Community Involvement Team at Croydon Voluntary Action. Both projects worked in partnership to produce this film, so please enjoy. See that girl on Facebook? She was so charming. What girl? What Facebook? She better than me. Wait, man, you. Hi, baby. Yes, I've been watching you. You're so charming. Not even. Listen, baby. I would like you did it. Waste man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe what she was wearing to Jane's wedding? So revealing. Absolutely disgraceful. That will happen in my family. What do you think Chung is? Chung. Chung. Mm. Should I tell you? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. okay. Um, if you say someone is Chung, it means they are sexually attractive. That girl is Chung. Looking good. Um, Looking if good. I find the girl attractive. Mm. So when you get called Chum, we really started from. Right. What really started from? How many use this word? I mean, within the youth. Yeah. I mean, you mean all of the youth? Any children that go to school in the UK? Any children? Asian children? Chinese children saying Chum? The no, whole what I'm saying is, I mean, you might be using here, but let's say 10 miles away, they might not be using those words. Um, I think there is some truth in that. Um, for example, one of my friends, he comes from East London, um, yeah, instead right. of saying Chung, he'll say Peng. What is right. Which means the same thing as Chung. My wife is Chung. Oh, yeah. Then one, T-T-Y-O, stands for? Again, that's right, that was Jimmy Young's Touch out for now. He took it from... Uh, oh, he did indeed. Yeah, he took from it from... Tommy, Tommy Hanley. Hanley. Tommy Hanley, you're quite yeah. right. Tommy Hanley was a uh, comedian. Yes. In... Uh, before oh, the oh, Second oh, World War, oh, until oh, about oh. the mid-1950s. And he had a programme uh, which came on every week, the name of which escapes me for the moment, but there were lots, rather like... Um, you know Bruce Forsyth, you know, um, he comes on now and says, um, nice, nice, nice to see you, to see nice. you, nice, right? Um, he was, ex Tommy Hanley was exactly the same as that. Jack he, Train was in that program. Yeah, and he, he used to, there was tons of catchphrases in that. So, exactly the same as you, people used those catchphrases to mean whatever it was. Next. Don't forget, not even, it's not even. The next word is um, waste man. It's like a sort of curse. Like you might say, my husband's a waste man. My wife says I'm a waste man. Mm. I go walking and it's sick. <laughs> <laughs> my little girl is Chung. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use Chung? Well, mother would weather. say that, wouldn't she? <laughs> it's a Chung day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Going back but to what you were saying about communication, you all know the um, Cockney rhyming slang, yeah? Ah, yes. Yes, yeah. yeah. so that was um, brought in because yeah. the Costa Bangers or the Barra Boys didn't want the cops to know yeah. what they are talking about. Do you know what oh, apples are? Apples and pears. Apples and pears. Apples and pears. Stairs. 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 Right. Well, they didn't say apples and pears. You didn't say apples, they just said apples. Because yeah, you don't I say you don't say the last word, you only say the one word. You knew the last word. Yeah. If you didn't yeah. know what the last word was, you didn't understand it. English language know? grows. Yes. It, it changes constantly. I like to watch Judge Judy. I think she's sick. Action. Hello Sandra, hello Elsie, how have you two been then? Hello, we're fine thanks, how are you? Oh, not too bad, can't complain. It's good. Where are you two off to then? Just come back from the hospital. Oh really, sad to hear, what's ever for? Just 
thrown out the stairs. Oh. They're just killing me. Woo! Sad to hear that. Waiting two hours and they've just said nothing. Two and I've got hours. It's absolutely ridiculous, wouldn't you agree? Yes, so this is poorly, poorly at times. It's sad to hear that. I uh, must get some time, is money. They're off for now. Bye bye. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is they call a haka mishmoku. Oh, don't understand what they say. That's Arabic. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I can't understand it. <laughs> in about 20 years' time, they'll all be in the dictionary. <laughs> 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 You've got WBU. Does anyone know what that stands for? WBU. What bothers you? Give up. What bothers you? Um, it stands for what about you? What about you? What about you? About a hundred years ago or or so, men could take their wives down to Croydon Market with a uh, rope around the necks and flog them. So the public. Oh, I miss public. Mike, Mike, we missed opportunities. Let's sell them and exchange them. <laughs> Not only about 100 years back. Yeah. It was the early, early 1900s. Yeah. They, they now do it in much more. Exactly. They, they do the same thing. The last one in Surrey Street was something like 1912. Oh, no. in 1912. And another thing you might not know is We weren't about allowed to take the husbands down. <laughs> about the same sort of time um, in, uh, Nor in Norfolk. Uh, there was <coughs> someone was stoned to death by the locals because he was a Roman Catholic. Oh God! Uh, so you know we we think of you have been brought up in things where you can you know instantly about something which happened in Australia. Uh, we wouldn't hear about that uh, in my uh, day for you know, certainly a little while, but once the radio came in, the radio gave us, similar to mm. your television, because television is the way you all seem to communicate, mm, um, okay. it, the radio gave us things, but literally, 30 years before I was born, it was word of mouth, and you might then get something, you know, <laughs> six months later, that um, something had happened. Totally distorted, obviously. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Sick. That's got to be good. I'm sure that must be good. Someone's already said it's something good or excellent. An example would be if you're watching television, you might say EastEnders was sick yesterday. I go walking and it's sick. <laughs> Did you see that girl on Facebook? She's so chummy. What girl on Facebook? What girl on Facebook? You, you wasteland. You better than me, huh? <laughs> <laughs>